Hello and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on July 8th and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch. The vast majority of what I stream will not be uploaded to YouTube. My current KSP streaming times are Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. GMT. I'll stream other games on Wednesdays and Fridays at 3.30 Pacific and 11.30 p.m. GMT. Even if you can't catch the stream time, Twitch retains the recording of the stream for two weeks so you can watch it on demand, though some streams may be muted due to the background music used. With that, on to my commentary from July 8th. Okay, hello everyone, and uh, we're continuing career mode again today. So, yep, yeah, uh, let me just quickly take a look at the contract screen, because it's been like a week since I've done career mode. Uh, Friday and Saturday I was doing... Uh, fun stuff with the EDB shuttle and so uh, yeah uh, I need to get back to where I was on this stuff build a new orbital station around Lathe well we have those guys around uh, on the surface of Lathe to rescue I don't know whether it, it's a good idea to send an orbital station there but uh, we've, we've got some Lathe contracts uh, we've got science data from space around Lathe probably should do that at some point so, uh, yep, yeah, we've got a lot to do. We've got to rescue this Kerbal from the orbit of Val. We should start flinging stuff at Jewel at some point to rescue these guys mainly. But uh, let me quickly take a look at how much stuff we've got at our Minmus station. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should bring some of the stuff back. Uh, we, we can leave uh, Bob, I guess it is, to uh, keep working on the data while uh, bringing that stuff back I think so uh, there's the rescue round Val let me see now okay so now with ah there we go Cochrane station so let me see how much science I've got sitting there and maybe we should have a Kerbal bring it back I think we can do that while still having the research lab continue its business but uh, yeah, how much? We've got some data here. We could get 30 here, 24, 60, 36, 90. I think we should take some of this back home. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me send a Kerbal out here to grab some of this. And I think we've got some more in the lander can, uh, the stored data here. Okay. So let me go to the VAB and uh, construct a mission for that. Um, I guess we'll just have the Kerbal who will do that EVA out to grab the stuff rather than docking up with this. Yeah, so uh, yep, that's the plan. Uh, getting the science back home. I mean, I could do some more science milking on Minmus, but I think that's got to be a priority. It shouldn't be too hard a mission. And uh, I really need to get closer to unlocking the rapiers. Uh, yeah, let's just have a very simple thing with the LV-909. That's a lot of TWR. We could probably sneak something else in. Not too many engines, otherwise we're going to have extra cost. So just the simplest conceivable thing going on here. I should probably put fins on. I still sort of have a gut feeling that maybe I should just use something I've used before. So 5,503, let me just do my math. Um, that's barely enough to get to Minmus uh, again to orbit and come back. Maybe we should... Maybe it would be nicer to have a little uh, rendezvous stage instead of having it uh, totally like this. So uh, instead of having such a thing like that, just a tiny little guy with uh, with the famous one kilonewton rocket. So actually, these are two each, aren't they? Yep. Okay, so that's just to get us into orbit around Minmus and get us back. It is pretty horrible atmospheric. Hmm, I think this needs a booster. This needs booster. I think I've just got to slap a booster at the bottom.
That makes everybody feel better, right? Boosters always make people feel better. Oh no, the booster doesn't have enough thrust. Hey. That's no good. Um, bigger booster? More boosters? Four strap-on boosters? Let's get this off the ground quickly. Say, around there. Okay, for those just joining, I know I'm not this early uh, in my career. I'm just I'm just building a very simple rocket to retrieve some Mimis science quickly. TWR a bit low on the second stage. That's that's the core rocket here. We'll light it first. Don't worry. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'll I'll stage it like that. So what we're, we're gonna do is light it while these guys are running, probably, and then decouple them off. I think uh, Maya Kermit needs some experience. We don't have a controller up there, so actually she can't do that. Uh, Adcan then, since uh, Adcan's a pilot. Okay, let's try this out. Kerbal inside. Yeah, well the Kerbal is bringing back the, the science. We need this Kerbal to EVA, grab the science from Cochrane Station and come back. Oh, I forgot to put the Kerbal Engineer Redux readout. Oh well. Okay, everything else looks okay. Every single one of us a Kerbal inside. <laughs> True enough. Okay, here we go. That was a weird liftoff. Okay, lighting the center. Decoupling. They all crash together, and things continue. We seem to be a little bit low on our pitch right now. Turned a little bit too quickly here. Okay, here we go. Flame effects are a little bit, uh... They show up quite a lot, don't they, flame effects? I'm not too sure they should be showing up right now. We've actually lost some ablator on the way up, but look, the ablator is actually going away. Okay, so we're coasting to Apoapsis, but maybe we can... Nah, well, maybe. Can we make a quick transfer here? Let me see. Uh, okay, that suits me. Let's go. It happens rarely, except I had a really long time until Apoapsis, so there was a higher probability that I would be able to get one on that stretch. No, I didn't plan for it. It's just that once I saw that my Apoapsis was so far around Kerbin, I figured there was a good chance that somewhere along that stretch I'd be able to uh, plot a Mimis transfer. That's why. Still not a guaranteed thing, because we're off the right inclination. Ah, that's worse. Probably ought to do a mid-course plane change and all. Ah, lost it. Darn it. So we haven't corrected inclination with Minmus yet. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, I do it sometimes. Well, with space planes, of course, you do it often, right? With rockets, a shallow ascent is pretty rare. It is wasting on friction, unless you've got a space plane, in which case the wings help. The wings give you lift, and so you don't lose as much on friction. So this was actually a botched ascent, but we got something out of it anyway. Seems like yours usually have to be somewhat shallow to get up to the required orbital velocity. 
It depends on what kind of uh, TWR you're using. I know somewhere around here is the node. So I'm gonna do the correction anyway. Well, somewhere around there is an encounter. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so we have to match orbits with our station, which is probably in some sort of inclined orbit to reach all the locations. Uh, so I kept it loose. Let's see if that helps or not. Ooh, well, not great, but we've got a lot of extra fuel. It should be fine. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm not getting an actual reading from the game on how far off I am. Let me try and get my periapsis right on that orbit. That should be the best sort of thing. Eh, uh, not quite. Should be a good match though. Where the heck are you turning, man? Ad can, stop flipping, stop flipping. Okay, now we've got one of those things. Ads off. Well, around Mimus, it's not a big deal. Maybe, we, hold on. Can I focus on Mimus here? Come on. Uh, maybe we can figure something out here. Hold on. Now this I am planning for. Right there. We've got an intercept. Can't correct the inclination just yet. But we could probably get a pretty close encounter there. And then correct the inclination to make it even closer. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Are we go, uh, doing the orbital station for late this episode? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, let's let's see what science we unlock first, and then we'll look at the contracts. Serenity launched this episode. Yeah, I remember we agreed to that that name for it. I've got a little bit of drift with Adkan. He seems to like to have his capsule drift a little bit. I don't know if it's a uh, miscalibration on my part or something. You think they should pay in full before getting the ticket back home? <laughs> oh well, you know how the reputation hit would be. Rendezvous music? No, we uh, unfortunately we already played the rendezvous music. The uh, waltz was the rendezvous music, so I ran out of the rendezvous music. Solar efficiency out of Jewel is pretty bad. We'll need some nice big solar panels for our station. Okay, so uh, we are approaching Cochrane Station. I've got way more Delta V than I really needed. And I'm also running the LV-909 instead of using the tiny thrusters. So maybe I should thrust limit it right now. Just for making these fine adjustments. Okay, there we go. Um, let's get this sort of lined up so that I don't have to have a heart attack while trying to EVA this Kerbal. Okay, that looks, that looks tolerable. I guess. Adkan does not look confident here, but he's gonna pop out anyway. Okay, don't knock into it. It doesn't have SAS control.
Let's go over to the research lab first. Grab. Oh, nope, missed the grab. No, not bored. I just wanted you to grab on. Okay, let's uh, take the data. Excellent. And I just want to make sure... Okay, well, I guess the experiments are still running. Hopefully Bob still has stuff to do. But uh, let's let go. Funny it doesn't tell you how to let go. It tells you to grab, board, but not uh, space for let go. Not that I want any more of those little hints, but I'm just saying. Okay, take data. So 21 experiments going back home with Adcan, so you better get this right. Come on. Okay. Well, I've gotten a lot more EVA practice lately. This should be very helpful for when I finally have to use Kerbal Attachment System and Kerbal Inventory System together. This looks like it's got to be a much more complicated Kerbal Universe in modded installs with those two. God, can you imagine doing serious EVAs around Earth? That's gonna be fun. Okay, bored. Now I want to make sure that Bob is still churning on his science. Yeah, he's got uh, 464 data. He's making some science, I suppose. Keep hard at it, Bob. Anyway, Adgan is gonna return home now, I think. I don't think there's any science he needs to do. Yeah. Uh, it's one of these situations. Uh, we've got the high inclination, so I don't really know where to actually uh, burn out of. Let's see. Yeah, not that way. I think our Kerbal is going to have to just head out, head to Apoapsis, and then burn for home. Because otherwise we get this... We get a pretty severe return trajectory here. So yeah. We could possibly use the moon to help us. But I don't think I have enough patch conics involved in order to really judge that. So we'll keep it loose like this. Okay, so heading away from Cochrane Station with a huge boatload of science at Can Kerman. I don't think it'll be enough to unlock the rapier, but at least it'll get us part of the way. Oh yeah, engine limiter is activated, yeah. We've got uh, it uh, limited to 26. Anyway, that's not a issue. I'm gonna have to do another burn here. 24 days? Joking. Oh man, poor uh, poor Adcan's gonna be hanging out for 24 days. This is not really acceptable. Hmm. Wonder if I can do something to tighten up his orbit here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, well this is a pretty serious correction, but we've got a lot of fuel left over, so here we go. Oh, he really didn't need the extra stage with the little thrusters. Oh, that probably did too much. Yep, we're crashing now. But I guess we could use the little thrusters to slow down before actually entering Kerbin's atmosphere. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try and, uh, well, we're pretty far off still. Let me get a little bit closer, but I'm gonna use some of my fuel to bring the orbit in before hitting the atmosphere. Definitely want to dump the LV-909 stage. Oh, there we are. Okay. All right, that's the end of that stage. We gotta leave a little bit of space junk, but it's on suborbital. Now, can we get him closer to the KSC? I have no idea. I don't know what the error breaking altitude is. So, maybe I could have the service module hang out. I wonder if it'll burn up. These probably will. I don't think it's worth the risk. We're pretty close to the KSC on this pass. Maybe just retro burn a little bit more. Oh, we're already hitting the atmosphere. Hmm. Looks like events have sort of overtaken me here. Well, a blader is not bleeding off anyway. This isn't really the right music, is it? Yeah, the blader needs to be put on top of rockets for ascent instead of for descent. Yeah, sometimes it seems that way, yeah. Exhaust doesn't seem to be bothered with aerodynamics. <laughs> This is true. Well, we got some sort of temperature indication there. Probably on the panel. Okay, we are suborbital. Should end up in the water somewhere. At this point, I think I can just retain the fuel. Should it be necessary. You've never used heat shields, so you've never seen a blater diminishing. Kerbal physics are interesting for sure. Yeah, sometimes a bit too interesting. Okay, we've got some wiggliness. Uh, Adkan, can you hold it on retrograde here? Seems to be not holding retrograde very well. We've got plenty of torque. Electric charge is diminishing pretty quickly trying to get this to retrograde. Adkan looks confident. We don't seem to be overheating at all. I don't think we've lost any ablator. Okay, well, this seemed to have been a safe thing to do, amazingly enough. None has been lost on descent. Amazing. Okay, I think we can turn SAS off. Oh, no, we can't. That's interesting. So, SAS was holding it the right way around. The can is uh, too light. Well, not a big problem right now. You gotta get a bit of a jerk when I deploy a parachute though, I can. Uh, we're going too fast though. Crud. Yeah, this, this is not a good way to go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna separate first and then deploy parachute. Yeah, we can't take the service... Well, maybe we can. It's slowing down now, but uh, too slowly. 
Flip around, please. Thank you. Sorry for the G-forces, Adcan. And now we can deploy parachute. <gasps> no! We were below the speed of sound! Ah! 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 Two hundred and sixty? Who decided on two hundred and sixty? What, what an arbitrary number that is. Where did two hundred and sixty come from? Well, uh, what can I do? Uh, our, our failed MIMIS data retrieval mission with hundreds of units of science. Tragic for Adkan Kerman, of course. Okay, well, um... You remember you said 250, but we saw it was good at 260. Hold on, I, I want to just check uh, something in the VAB. There's an indicator on the... Yeah, yeah, I remember somebody telling me about the indicator. Stupid indicator on the shoots. Okay, new rule. They need to say that here somewhere, okay? Somewhere here they need to say... That it's not safe above 260, darn it. Okay.